What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Daily Sean. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Sean. I do a daily video on something related to nursing. No rhyme or reason. It's probably not going to change. Oh, so you weren't smart enough to be a doctor. Seriously? Unfortunately, this happens quite often. In the short time that I have been in this profession, it's happened far too many times that I like to count. And now that I'm a nurse practitioner, it makes things even more cloudy for, the, for these wonderful individuals that think we weren't smart enough to be a doctor. Usually when you have someone, whether a patient, family member, visitor, or even a healthcare professional, actually say the words out loud, oh, so you weren't smart enough to be a doctor, you first of all have to make sure that you have the control not to throat punch them. Once you swallow the blood in your mouth from you biting your tongue, here's my best response. Why no, I'm not a doctor, but I was smart enough to choose this profession. I've actually made a conscious choice to become a nurse, nurse practitioner, because not everybody is smart enough to do this job. I'm actually a highly functioning, highly educated, critically thinking healthcare professional that works collaboratively with physicians on a daily basis. Yeah, I consider myself pretty smart. It's, that's the best I can come up with without using expletives because quite honestly, they deserve a throat punch. But, you know, we have to maintain that professionalism thing that I always talk about. So, it's better if you use that answer that I always use. That way you don't get fired. Or go to jail. Curious what you have to say about this one. Have you ever been approached? Has anyone ever said these words to you? And what has been your best answer? Or should I say, what has been your safest answer that keeps you employed? Inquiring minds want to know. Leave your comment down below. Your comments are caffeine. Share this with somebody. And as always, check your own pulse first.